Yo, what is going on, y'all? It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto, man. It's been a minute. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto Millionaire Journey. Whew. Life, man. Life is interesting. Uh, but let's... Today... I'm trying to think what... Today, we're going to be talking about the market, man. I mean, I know everybody, you know, it's it's out there right now. You know, market took a dip. Took a, a dippy. But are we worried? Eh, not really. If you guys have been tuning in, and uh, I'm looking at this time... Not only is it a great time to obviously buy, uh, but time to really try to figure out how how to earn some more interest right now. That way it either doubles, triples, or whatever for whenever this next bull run comes. And I mean, I think this might be the last one before, you know, we go back to, you know, maybe a bear market crypto winner and all that good stuff, which even during times like that, you know, there's, there's ways to make money. So it's just like, for me, I'm just, I'm on that accumulation right now, but definitely hitting hard on finding, you know, those yield, those high yield interest accounts and farming. Cause you know, the crypto space, as y'all know, it's. Hey man, it's so many different ways where you can just make money. And not just that, but finding some different ways and using some of these different tokens and leverage them. I mean, I'm looking at some of these prices for some of these projects and it's like, wow, Matic really, Matic really shot up, man. And uh, kind of looking at like kind of like their first quarter I'm trying to see when did it really kind of take off. It was kind of, wow, early. So if late April, if you went got in late April, you know, around like anywhere from that 45 price range to like 66 price range, 66 cents, that bad boy got up to $2.22. Like I said, it dipped to about $1. ten. So if you're able to get in there, you're, you're, chilling right now but i'm looking at bitcoin people are complaining i'm just like bro what this is this is kind of cheap man considering where bitcoin was just at you see these prices are very doable but these are probably the same people that are complaining about you know when bitcoin fell to 10k and people were like oh i'm not buying it and that bad boy shot up to the moon Bitcoin's going to shoot up to the moon again. And then, you know, ETH is kind of doing this thing. Only thing about ETH that's kind of, that's kind of concerning. It's been, I would say, uh, a topic that kind of comes up pretty frequently is the gas fees, man. You know, when ETH was at, what was it? I think the highest ETH guy was like four, about four racks. Close to four racks, somewhere around there. And... Yeah, about 41, 41, 12. So, you know, when it was up there in that range, it was, oh my gosh. You wanted to send tokens or just <laughs> be active on the Ethereum blockchain. It was like, ooh, these gas fees are kind of, kind of killer, fam. Uh, So that's something that, you know, I'm obviously keeping my, Keeping that thought in the back of my head as, you know, I am a big fan of Ethereum, but it's like when you look at that and then you got, you know, Binance Smart Chain, which is, I ain't going to lie, fam. I was sleeping on BNB. Sheesh. I was slept. But now I ain't sleeping no more. Binance Smart Chain is nice. It's nice, fam. Not to mention, oh my goodness, the fees are very cheap, very, very, very cheap. You know, Cardano's doing this thing. You know, I'm still shocked at what Dogecoin is doing. But hey, the people that believe in Dogecoin, hey, my fam. I mean, 
my all, like, do what y'all gotta do, Puga Dot, you know, chilling, Uniswap's doing this thing. And then there's some other coins I'm seeing. I'm just like, whoa, fam. Like, who, who are these projects? Um, but Chainlink. Ah, I love Chainlink. Chainlink. Link. Right now it's at $31. But um, Chainlink has been one of those tokens, coins that... Ah, you can just buy in certain price ranges of Chainlink and you just wait on that bad boy. You just wait. I mean, you know, I did buy some more when it was in the... 20 buck range, but ah, chain link. I think it was whew. chain link got to, I think it was what 45, close to 50 bucks, close to 50 bucks. Yeah, 50, it hit 50 13 on May 8th. And, you know, and, and since then it's been it's dipping, but it's recovering. You know, I'm trying to see if you know, if we go back under 30 bucks, I'll probably. Go ahead and try to gobble some more. Because, I mean, project is it's beautiful. And that's another coin. That's another, that's another thing, too. Some of these coins, I'm collecting interest, staking on multiple platforms. So, you know, I'm just earning more every day. And it's just, when we had this previous run, to see all that interest I have, like, earned and staked, or whatever it could be, to see it just, like, pretty much double it was it was a nice feeling man came and came and lie to y'all and i'm looking oh v chain v chain going back up y'all v chain at 13 cents is up five percent trying to figure out why data is cooking like that i need to do some research on data but v chain i think it got under yeah let me see last couple of days yeah, if you were able to buy when it was ten cents, nine cents, bravo! You know why? Because that's where it was at. You know, around April second, and then from there it kind of just took off. You know, so ooh, again V chain, and that's another thing about V chain. I'm collecting V tour every day. The other token that's attached to it, it's just like, oh man, I'm saying like. Times like this, during dips, you know, yeah, for me, I kind of personally took a little break with the trading, a little bit, a little bit, I and mean, I'm still kind of, you know, actively trading as well. But as far as like, again, the, the farming, the yielding, the, you know, finding ways to have my crypto, you know, earn interest, but, you know, amongst different realms, you know, I, I'm... I want to earn stable coins. I want to earn tokens. I want to earn just, you know, I eventually want to start providing li liquidity for certain things so I can earn more. Like, it's just all these facets, man, where you can just tap in and, and your money's just, it's working. It's working. You know, that is, for me, that is the biggest, biggest ordeal, man. It's just to know that hey your money's constantly working rather be you know a quarter every day a dollar every day you know five bucks it's it's working you come in knowing that man if anything happens hey i you know i got something to use something to play with something a currency that oh, man the economics behind it is just it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Makes sense. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you know, some of it, yeah, it can be challenging. It can be hard to, you know, I guess, like, keep up for those that might be new to the space or whatever the case may be. But, you know, I, I, I look at it from this perspective of where else can you go and get this type of type of return? So, if it's going to cost me the extra work. I mean, man, 100% APR, fam? 80% APR? Like, I've, I've seen some APRs, you know, in the DeFi world where you're like, whoa. It don't even seem real, but it is. We're still early. You know, for me, like, I've seen some people comment, 
yeah, about you know how I spend my crypto, but it's like you know what? I'm not really spending my you know crypto as far as yes, I spend crypto, but for me personally, I try to not use uh, you know the heavy hitters. I try to just for the most part accumulate. But I will say this: when you're in a bull run bull market. I do. I will. I'll rather spend it when it's at its peak, because you know, you know what, it ain't gonna be here like at the top like this all the time. So, you know, we to spend a little Bitcoin here, a little Ethereum here. But for the most part, I try to really just spend stable coins. I mean, stable coins is basically you know fiat. So for me, you know, some of the debit cards that I use, I try to. For the most part, use my stable coins first, and then if I need to, you know, use the good old crypto, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll tap in with the crypto. But stable coins are a beautiful thing. To me, that that finance system is <laughs> the way it works is way better. I mean, again, you look at you know some of these banks and you know, all what you can get for holding your money there but it's just like mm, it's not really it's not appetizing anymore man like I could come in every day to my different accounts and see that hey some interest came in and it's compounding daily and what's even more beautiful is like at that current price of the of the coin so right now you guys a little update on my Exodus wallet because oh way it's been nice. It's been nice. I'm not gonna cap to y'all because this is one of my crypto balls, crypto bankies. And as I see, like, even looking at Neil, I'm like, oh my god, Neil's going back up. And so let's start with, you know, Cardano. Uh you could just look at I'm like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. So if you just look at the last three months, just last three months, we're going off the last three months for my uh holdings for Cardano and Exodus. Still plus fifty percent, fam. Fifty percent, cause you know the high it was at, the highest it was at value wise was about six eighteen. Or seven, yeah, six eighteen. Around there. Yep. Even the last month, despite like I said, despite the market taking a a major setback, it's still up thirty four percent in the last month. I'm still up thirty four percent. Again, these type of ROIs, I don't know where else you're gonna get them. As far as you know. Having your money institution and you know, having your money make money and earn money like, like people gotta wake up a little bit, man, because even the last seven days, balance is still up six percent. But yeah, don't be wrong, you know, I've been buying Cardano, yeah, obviously before it was even a dollar. But even still, if you just use a you know a DCA approach to some of these coins, you, you can get these high returns because I've done it. And this is a coin that, you know, I stake on here. And what's kind of cool is obviously, you know, the APR is about what? So I know they changed it. Yeah, right now it's about 4.21. So that's just, the, you know, it's just the APY. It's, it's not too shabby. Like I said, it's beating, that's beating all my, my banks. I mean, I have credit unions and all that good stuff, but even still, like... The little dividends I get from them, it's like, really, fam? Like, y'all can keep that. So right now where I'm at, 30-day estimate, I earn about 1.05 Cardano. It's not too shabby. Considering, like I said, considering where the price is at. And this is a coin I feel like, you know, eventually that will hit, you know, $10. Yeah, eventually. But right now, I just got, you know, four of them that I could claim right now. They're just sitting there. 
that's that's just you know, Rush. Let me go ahead and pull up the coin gecko to give you guys a idea. Cause I mean, it's, it ain't much, but again, so I have about four. Yeah, she. Let's see. To be accurate, more accurate. Let's type in four, twelve. Yeah. So I just have close to about you know ten bucks, chilling, just chilling. Current price, right? That's not like I said. That's not too shabby for the balance that I have in this particular wallet. It's not like I said. If you go back to the timestamp, and it's just like laughable. Uh, back in January, <laughs> fifty dollars. The value was at fifty dollars. Now it's you know two sixty. So it's just like whoa. <laughs> It's like really, fam. Like this, this is you doing these type of numbers. But again, don't get me wrong. I ain't no financial advisor, by the way. Like, I hope y'all keep that in mind. But it's just the numbers you're able to do, the returns you're able to get. Again, mind blowing. And V Chain, you know, I have a. No, I saw them out of V chain, V chain, and V chain, V chain, V chain, V chain. I got a nice solid amount, but let's now. You want to talk about numbers? Last three months, my balance, you know, the way it's been <laughs> working, I'm still up 155%, fam. Let me repeat that. 155 percent last three months, despite the you know the heavy dip, despite the heavy dip, the blood you know the uh, was it uh, sea of red. Excuse me. I was trying to think of another uh, term, it's a biblical term, I believe. Still 155 percent last month. It's yeah, it's down about 35. But, hey, do I sound worried? <laughs> Last seven days is up six. I mean, again, the, the numbers. And this is why I like looking at all these different analytics. Because I can pretty much tell myself, all right, you know, I bought this back in February. Man. Y'all ready for the value? Oh, well, you know, it was like $141 at that time, you know, around, around something like that. And then pff, current value about $326. $326. Thank you very much. And, you know, a smooth, you know, 1.12 APY, you know, it's not anything to go nutty over, but, you know, it's just a extra cream on top, you know what I'm saying, on top of the fact that you're earning their VTOR token, which took a bit of a dump, but, you know, <sighs> still, <laughs> last three months on that bad boy is pretty solid. And again, this is man earning this every day. Like they're coming in every day. Current balance is at 112 right now, and I'm like, wow. It's only a matter of time before I hit, you know, a thousand V tour, and then eventually we get to ten thousand. But it's just, oh, hello, <laughs> Neo, another one. You know, right now it's at sixty bucks, sixty bones. Still, with my investment, the way I, you know, where I came in for Neo, because I bought Neo when it was like 40 bucks, even though I was, I was pressing, because I'm like, man, I should buy when it was like 20 and stuff, you know, uh, I hate having those type of regrets. But you look at the last three months, it's still up over 52%. 52%, man. Yes, last month, it's down 43%, though. So... Just looking at that basic map, I'd be like, well, shit, let me go ahead. Throw some money. Throw some in there. 
past three months, we still up. We still up from last three. And I'll go again. Oh, ooh, yeah, if you forgot. If you, if you forgot. That boy collecting that gas. I'm not talking about, you know, 420 gas, but I'm talking about that. Their token, their, their gas token. You know, I got some gas that's just sitting in there, but definitely got to add more Neo to get more gas, but it's all a process. And like I said, oh, and by the way, you know, with their APY too, you know, you're earning the extra, you know, almost 2%. Charlotte, Charlotte. It's not too shabby, Bob. Not too shabby. And then we come to Cosmos and, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm already knowing I'm down on my Cosmos play. Because I did press the issue and buy it a little high. But that's fine. We're down on that position. That is fine. Which means I go in and, you know, buy at this price. Not only get my <laughs> other money back and then profit off the other profits and compound those profits. And, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. By the way, this is another coin that you stake, staking it almost at a 9% APY as well. And again, almost got about 0.1 Adam. Not too shabby. Because if you was actually, you know, because, you know, Adam is expensive. Cosmos. Cosmos really took off, man. Because, again, there's so many coins, and it's hard to watch them all sometimes, but sheesh. So if we put in 0 0.1. 0 0.1, I got a dollar, dollar sixty, chilling, you know. Just chilling right there. At the current price, so just got to get some more. Got to get some more. And this, again, this is just one of my <laughs> crypto vaults, crypto banks, whatever you want to label it, whatever you want to call it. But <clears throat> for me, I'm taking advantage. Taking advantage. Gotta take advantage right now. You guys are not taking advantage during... Some of these coins that are, like I said, they're cheap. I mean, even Litecoin. You know, Litecoin was having a good run before it, you know, it fell. Same thing with Tron. You know, Tron's cheap still. I think Tron's got, you know, a ways to go, but ooh, shoot. I'm staking Tron too, so. Again, when you're in the position to stake these coins now i kind of understand with what other people say you know when there's times where they don't, don't even look at the market because their positions are are in a place where no matter what happens in the market you're you're good you can still spend your crypto that is that's next level. That's that's where I'm trying to get to. And, you know, I don't think it's going to take too much. I feel like I'm really close. Just got to keep grinding a little bit more. But taking advantage of the APRs, man. Like, I've seen, you know, you know videos on YouTube where people are just, people are quitting their jobs and just straight living off passive income, man. Like some easy stuff, like people that you know that are mining and all that. Like that's where these next six months got to be there, got to be there. And I want to be there, obviously, because to take advantage of, like I said, both market conditions. That is when you know you're good becoming you know wells and different projects i ain't gonna lie the last couple of days you know i've been 
kind of going back to my old ways is just kind of really deep diving into crypto and man there's so much out there right now and what's to come and you know some of these platforms what they're doing you know for me personally i feel like a lot of these og platforms that we came up with you know the facebook's the ig's you know the twitter's and you know all those platforms for me i feel like at least for me their days have came to a number i mean i'm kind of off the ig i'm off i mean i don't really use facebook i mean yeah i still have my twitter but even still i'm like you know big clout shout out to big clout <laughs> you know that's gonna be kind of like my new twitter because the capabilities of the blockchain and you know the web 3.0 and just being able to basically kind of monetize everything. You can monetize your whole life. Like everything that you, you know, want to do that you might have not been able to do on, you know, some of these platforms because they got, you know, these other different business models that, you know, work for some, not for all. Hey, to each his own. But the opportunities that crypto opens up, the doors and all that stuff, the ways to, like I said, monetize your time and, you know, have some privacy along the way and not have to necessarily always worry about your, you know, data getting sold and all, all the other stuff that, you know, these corporations be doing on the reg. But it's a nice feeling, man. Like, all right, we got alternatives, you know. And these are better alternatives. Like, we're... You can, like, small creators, y'all can live off this stuff. Medium-sized creators, big size. I mean, like, it don't really matter. It's kind of, you know, it's up to the artist, up to the creator. And that's what's fascinating about this whole space, man, because it's so, it's still early, you know, it's still going to develop. The market is still... I mean, we hit two trillion finally. Yeah, it was a time when we hit two trillion. That was, that was nice to see. But that's just the beginning. It's the tip of the iceberg. But like I said, back, back to what this episode really was mainly about. It's about taking advantage of these opportunities. And I'll be talking about, you know, in the upcoming episodes about a lot of different projects that I found that I'm trying to get involved with that I'm constantly like, all right, man, let's, we got to get this bread so we can be a part of these, you know, big time. Because I've, I've caught in some of these waves, man. It's a nice feeling. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It is a great feeling to catch some of these waves when coins just basically moon or whatever because it'd be, it's a nice feeling. Because I look at it at, at it as, for me personally, I think the next time we do boom boom, I'll probably take out my initials, my like my initial investments, and then with like a percentage on top, and then leave the rest in and see how how see where the bottom hits. Because I'm gonna move most of those funds into like stable coins, uh, places where I can earn interest and all that stuff. So. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I can't wait to talk about Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap, I was sleeping on that project, but... <sighs> Man, like I said, oh. And this is, you know, we're going into the... This month's gonna be really interesting to see where the market takes us. Like, where are we going? Like, you know, does Bitcoin go back up to, you know, over 40000 And if it does, is that sign we know we're headed back, you know, to the 50000 range and all that good stuff, but... Take advantage, y'all. Do your homework. Do your do your research. Like I said, I'm not no financial advisor. <laughs> Everything I do is risky. Investing is risky. Making money is. I mean, I don't know the saying. If y'all want to make money, it takes money. But some of those best rewards, you, you gotta gotta take those risks. But I try to, you know, spread out my risks. 
high, mid, low. As long as we getting something back on the on on the return, we we Gucci. But I appreciate y'all, you know, tuning into the cast. Like I said, I got a lot of uh, a lot of things marinating that I'm gonna go ahead and share with y'all. Cause like I said, we are in a opportune time right now. Market's down. Some coins. Took some major hits. Go buy some. Why not? You'd be surprised what twenty, fifty dollars, hundred dollars can do in the crypto world. You'd be surprised. I mean, I could tell you this: it'll do a lot more better than your bank. But hey, you know, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, but I appreciate y'all listening. Your boy's gonna get on out of here. Until the next episode, I appreciate y'all, like I said, tuning in to the Crypto Millionaire Journey Podcast. This is your boy, The Wolf of Crypto. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.